Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun comparison video on Manjaro uh, 21, version 21 on the left, and also Manjaro version 21 on the right. Main difference of which being that on the left hand side we're actually running the XFCE desktop environment, and on the right hand side we've got the, the GNOME desktop environment there. Now first of all, a uh, little bit of background information. Manjaro is actually based on uh, Arc Linux, so a very uh, thriving community there, very enthusiastic one to say the least. And uh, it is really a, um, so it's not a point release, but more of a rolling release, this one here. Now, let's have a look at the desktop environments here. So starting off, uh, basically XFCE. So it's got your Windows XP, S, XPX, I can't even say that, but like, like a Windows 7 or a Windows XP version of um, the, the start menu there. We've got our right click options here as well for the context menu. If we were to say go to the uh, the file manager or the file explorer, uh, pretty bare bones, but but still pretty nice, I guess. Does what you want it to do. Right click, open terminal, create folder, etc., etc. Uh, and then on the right hand side for the GNOME variant, we have the so this is where we actually pick up all the uh, the applications and load them up and find what we want to use. So through the, uh, the sort of a show applications menu there. And uh, I've got a few different things like the activities, so you see the workspaces, that sort of thing. So it does work different, although you do also have the workspaces there on Manjaro uh, XFCE edition. Now uh, let's just uh, jump across to say the, oh, the, the the file explorer here as well. So you will see some similarities and differences. Now GNOME runs on the, the GNOME files file manager. So it's really the de facto standard for a GNOME desktop environment like this one. Uh, it does look a little bit similar in the way of the, the icons, of course, as you can see there. So it uses those same color accents or color tones, that sort of thing there as well. So it likes to keep, oh, running out of power there. <laughs> but uh, it likes to keep it pretty similar there. Let's see if we can right click or anything. There we go. So we've got our right click context menus. I actually happen to like the Thuna file manager here on the left hand side a little bit more for XFCE. Uh, you've got the option to create new documents, be what it may. You can do that still on this side. Oh, empty bash. That's nice. You don't see that every day. That's very interesting. Uh, but uh, the main thing to me is always open in, in terminal so you can do whatever you want from that location in the, the, the file explorer. It just makes life so much easier. Uh, let's see what else. So uh, we should see no differences in the, the back end here. So you will see that we're running on the uh, 5.15 kernel. So that's um, really one of the latest and greatest ones. That's what I love about Arc. It's just really up to date, just the way that it prefers to work there. Uh, XFCE version happens to be 4.16 and GNOME uh, is 41.2. So this is kind of the latest. So that's what I love about Manjaro. I still don't know why it's not my daily driver. Maybe because Ubuntu has a, a very uh, helpful community for support, not to mention apps that are sometimes as well, if not better supported. But otherwise, really, really big fan of Manjaro. Uh, but let's have a look at the RAM usage and the CPU usage for that matter. So I've allocated one CPU to each and four gigabytes of RAM to each. So it's, um, uh, let's see, so CPU to begin with, nicely idling out there. Uh, the memory on XFCE, as you might expect, it's a little bit more lightweight. So we're running at about 520 megabytes of RAM on boot up, which is which is great. Uh, so just the operating system uh, loaded up. So just gives you an idea of what's left over for all the apps that I know you guys love to run. And uh, GNOME on the other side here. Now this one does tend to fluctuate, usually more than less, but it's running at about 750 megabytes of RAM or actually just shy of. So a good solid 200 megabytes of RAM, more usage, uh, just just on boot up really. So this is a, not not a really a scientific comparison. It's just to give you guys a bit of an idea. If you've got an older laptop, older PC, you probably might want to look at the XF, XFCE version. As long as it's got this heads up display or this search option, so you can find whatever you want, Firefox, whatever, and then there you go, loving it. I do wonder if this will be my long-term version right here, but uh, daily driver. But that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.